and excited to talk to you about a simple question that I think a lot of us struggle with. Uh, I want to talk to you today about why we keep sinning. Okay, but it seems heavier, but I think a lot of us keep struggling with the same struggles. Maybe that's a better way of saying it. Uh, in Romans 7, verse 15, Paul says it this way. That, what, that which I want to do, I don't do. But what I don't want to do, I keep doing. Have you ever felt that same way that Paul felt in that moment? I don't want to sin anymore. I don't want, it. I don't want this addiction. I don't want this struggle. I don't want this bad habit. I don't want this bad thought life. I don't want to keep doing what I keep doing, but I want to do what I don't do. How do we break this cycle? How do we break out of this thinking? How do we break out of that box uh, that has this cycle of sin in all of our lives? I think it's a tree issue. I think there's two issues, uh, there are two tree issues that I think uh, we could dig into today, just for a few moments together. In Genesis 2, verse 9, is the beginning of the Bible, the beginning of creation. And there's two trees, actually. Do you know that? There wasn't just one tree, there's two trees. In Genesis 9, let me read this real quick. It says, Out of the ground the Lord God made every tree grow that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life was in the midst of the garden and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Many of us today only focus on that second tree, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. That's the tree that Adam and Eve took the fruit from, ate it, their eyes were open. Many of us still today are living from that tree the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So what is that doing in our life? It means that we're trying to live good enough or feel condemned that we're too bad. We're all about this good and this bad issue. Problem is there was a second tree that they were called to live from. That was the tree of life. Maybe it's a tree issue in your life. Maybe you keep sinning, you keep struggling with the same issue because you're trying to be good instead of living from life. How do you do the difference? Well, in Matthew 7, 21, Check this out. It says, you will do works in my name, but I will say, depart from me, for I never knew you. This is Jesus talking to a group of people. They're saying, listen, we're gonna cast out demons for you. We're gonna heal the sick. We're gonna raise it. We're gonna, we're gonna do so much for you, Jesus. And Jesus said, whoa, whoa, whoa. In that last day, when you stand before me in heaven, I'm gonna say, depart from me, because you did a lot of works, but I didn't know you. See, I think that's the key right there. We are so focused often as Christians on what is it that we're doing? Are we good enough? Are we, are we too bad? Are we, are we stuck in sin? Are we stuck in addiction? Have we done enough to perform right? Have we read our Bible enough? Have we attended church enough? Have, are we talking right? Are we thinking? And we're so focused on our doing. And Jesus in this moment says, stop. You're going to do a lot of works, but I won't have known you. So I'm going to say, depart from me. The real question today is, do you know Jesus? Does Jesus know you? When you stand before him that day in eternity, will he say, I know who you are. You're my friend. You're my, you're, you, you sought after me. You wanted to be with me. You didn't want to perform for me. You wanted to know me. We're stuck in this cycle of sin often because we're more focused on what we're doing than who we know. Do you know Jesus well today? Or are you simply trying to perform for Jesus today? Second tree issue, I think, is, is right here. John 14, verse 12, it says, Most assuredly I say to you, he who believes in me and the, the works that I do, he will also do. See, first it has to be a knowledge issue, a knowledge of Jesus and a relationship with Jesus, moving from the tree of the life of good and evil to the tree of life. The second thing is once we believe in Jesus, then works are going to flow out of that belief of Jesus. Problem is we have that backwards. Often we're trying to do the works first before we know and believe. Works are a simple byproduct of our beliefs. Do you know that everything that you do is the fruit of the root that's growing in your life? Many of us have root issues and the fruit we keep trying to deal with. We're more focused on the fruit of our life than the roots of our life. But if we were to focus on the roots, our whole life would be turned upside down. In this verse in John it says, when you believe in me, the works I do, you're gonna do as well. It's a belief issue, isn't it? Too many of us are more focused on the fruit in our life, but we spend no time working on the roots of our life. Catch this, I believe that every time that we sin, it's a byproduct of a broken belief in Jesus. Let me say that again for you. Every time you sin, it exposes a broken belief that you have in Jesus. Let me kind of hopefully help explain this to you. Every time 
you cut corners, every time you lie, every time maybe you, 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 you lie on your taxes, every time you, you try to get away with something, what you're saying is, I don't believe Jesus is my provider. I don't believe that Jesus is, my, is enough for me. I don't believe that Jesus is gonna really take care of me, so I'm trying to do it on my own. Maybe husbands, you deal with uh, lust issues, pornography issues. What that's exposing is you don't fully believe that God is enough for you in your marriage to provide for you, to fulfill your desires, to fulfill the needs that you have. It's a belief issue, and every time we have a broken belief, we create sin in our life. Let me say it this way. In Romans 14, verse 23, it says, anything that is done not in faith is sin. Well, that's a huge verse that I think a lot of us read over, don't know, don't highlight. We haven't memorized that verse very often. Romans 14, 23, anything that's not in faith is sin. What does that mean? Anything that's not in a belief anchored in God is sin. Every time that you sin, it exposes the roots in your life. It exposes the broken belief that you hold in that certain area of your life. And the next time you sin, don't, don't, don't condemn yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Look at the roots and go, how is this being produced in my life? Why is this the fruit that's growing in my life? Stop spending all of your time focus on the fruit and start looking at the roots that are growing the fruit that you're so frustrated with. Maybe as you take a step back and evaluate, what are the beliefs that are broken in my life? The belief that maybe God won't provide for me. The belief that God maybe won't come through for me. The belief that maybe God won't heal me. The belief that says, man, maybe my marriage isn't of God. Maybe those are the broken beliefs that we're carrying and they're producing things in our life that we're not all about. Focus on the beliefs in your life and you're gonna break that cycle of sin in your life.